As landscape photographers, we want the best light as possible for our photos. And in order to obtain that, we go photograph during sunrise or sunset or in foggy situations or in a stormy situation. The moment the light is dramatic or the light is soft, it creates interesting images. Now, I'm in neither of one of those moments, but I'm in the early hours of the morning in this beautiful forest where the light gets filtered by uh, the leaves of the trees, the branches, the thickness of the vegetation. So let me show you how I will, I would uh, photograph in a place like this, what type of shots, what settings, how would I approach it from a composition uh, point. Just by entering in this place, I noticed something really, really nice. This uh, trail that is guarded by some high uh, ground on uh, both sides. And also I have that clearing over there uh, from where I came. So these presented two opportunities to photograph some countryside feel like uh, photos that are picturesque, that are romantic, that, I don't know, uh, they, they speak about uh nature and being outside and enjoying something that is really really interesting and pleasant to watch so let me set up the first the first photo with the clearance and i'm going to stay somewhere around here and i notice uh, a darker part in uh, in the lower part of the image and i will frame uh, that as my foreground i don't want to have some light in the foreground and after that darkness and then the light in the clearing. And notice the sun came above the tree and it kind of floods my image. Doesn't look that interesting. So I, I'll move a little bit, try to see if I can hide from the sun just a little bit to have the light of the sun filtered. And that is one of the most important uh, things you want to have filtered light because that light is soft and it has a much more pleasant feel. Now, in terms of settings, f8, 180th of a second, and ISO 320. And you should not be afraid to raise the ISO from time to time, especially with the today's software that can do noise reduction. Lightroom has right now a really powerful AI uh, denoise model. Uh, I'm also using Topaz AI to clear the noise in the image. So you can get rid of a lot of the noise in the image and you can get really beautiful uh, photos. Now after this first shot, the best thing that you can do after a horizontal shot is to also try and frame it in a vertical way. If you're not going to search for other compositions, at least frame it in a vertical way because you will have variations of the same scene and you can decide later which one was the best. So you can see I'm starting to photograph again from this area of darkness and I'm moving towards light. And the idea is to photograph this trail. I will exclude the sky, so I will probably sit somewhere like this and have those, those trees over there in the distance um, as the focus point. And as you can see, if I'm sitting low, I'm getting this effect of... Um, of a countryside road. Uh, I, I saw this kind of road, especially in Animazing and uh, in villages from Japan, but you can also find it anywhere in the world, of course. Now, again, I'm doing a portrait format and then I'm switching to landscape mode. And the ISO for this one goes a little lower to 160 f8 and 80th of a second yeah the image looks nice it has a as i said a, a countryside vibe go a little higher on the road and uh, see what other the things we can photograph <laughs> As I was walking through the forest, I noticed this tree over here. And it's really interesting. The trunk of the tree is twisted, as you can see. 
and it goes up. So it, this would be a perfect subject for a vertical shot. And what I also like is how the roots of this tree look. I think, uh, I think this will, could be an interesting uh, subject. I like for roughing uh, from under the trees. I like having the trunk to one side and then the branches of the tree and then some interesting things in the distance and in this case I'm having some wild flowers over there um, on the meadow. I decided to do a bracket for this shot with a two stop difference between the photos just to make sure that I have all the details in shadows and highlights. Just like in a situation where you're photographing the sunrise on the sunset and you're following the light, it's the same thing that you're doing here. You're following where the light is hitting. You don't want to have lots of uh, spots of light um, on the trees. So you're, you're looking for areas that have a constant shadow or a constant area of light or, um, or um, a contrast between these two areas. So, um, hope you found this video useful and you can apply this uh, these tips to one of your uh, photo shoots when you're going outside and photograph in the forest or in nature and if you do like this video please uh, consider sharing it with uh, your friends and uh, give it a thumbs up and until next time keep on photographing because it's the only way that you can get better